Today on our enclosed trailer, we're going to be installing the Obtronics LED domed utility light in a 6 inch round design with white LEDs in a clear lens, part number IL24CB. Now here's what our Optronics LED light looks like. It's got two wires that come off the back. White wire is the ground, the black wire is the power wire. It has three little holes drilled already in the light for mounting it. Now we're going to be adding it here to the back side of the back wall of this utility trailer. Now this trailer already has some other interior lights, so we're just going to be running a line off of the power wire for those. Back here, we'll be tying in the black wire to it and taking our white wire, adding a ring terminal, and just grounding it to the trailer's frame. Now we'll go ahead and run our power wire back here to our location, and then we can go ahead and mount our light. Now here's the power wire in our trailer, and it's run over to a switch right over here on the wall. The switch right here controls another light that's already in our trailer. So we'll go ahead and come up here to our power wire. We go ahead and just going to go ahead and cut our power wire in half. Strip some wire back on both sides. We go ahead and take our piece of wire that we're going to be adding in and routing to the back where our new Optronic slide will be going. Go ahead and connect these two together. Just going to use a butt connector to do that. Go ahead and put a little bit of tape around our connection point to secure it and protect it. Now with our wire added in, we can go ahead and route it to the rear of our trailer. There's some other wires that run to the rear of the trailer that's already sitting up here. Now, depending on your particular trailer, you may have to route the wire a little differently. Now that we have our power wire brought back to the area that we want to put our light in, we're going to need to remove a couple little things first. On our trailer, we'll need to take this little piece of trim off, or at least remove it a little bit so that we can gain some access. So now with our piece pulled back, we can feel that in there. If we drill a hole through our plywood, we'll be able to feed our wires in and then make our connections. Now that we have our trim panel loose, we go ahead and hold our light back up. We go ahead and pick a location here on the wall. We're going to need to drill a hole through the wood on this one so that our white and black wire can go through. We're going to need to add a ring terminal to the white wire here. We'll go ahead and slide our ring terminal down onto it and then we can crimp it down. Now next to make things a little bit easier, I'm going to go ahead and take my power wire that I ran from the front of the trailer here towards the back and I'm going to fish it behind the wall and make it come out my hole here.
going to go ahead and cut off the extra wire here. Go ahead and strip back some wire on this side. And then go ahead and add our butt connector in. You will need the butt connector and the ring terminal and the extra wire. Do not come with the optronics light. You will need to supply that extra. And again, depending on your exact trailer, you may need some additional uh, hardware as well. Go ahead then and connect the black wire off of our light to our butt connector. To make things a little bit easier, I'm going to tape my ring terminal to the black wire so that when I pull the wire back through the wall, I can grab it up high. Now that we have our wires pulled up into place, we're going to go ahead and take a self-tapping screw, go through the ring terminal, and secure the white wire to the trailer's frame. Next, we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of electrical tape around our connector, just to help protect it some more. Now we can go ahead and put our interior panels back on or secure them back down if we removed any screws. Next, we're going to use three screws, the pre-drilled holes, to secure our light to the wall. Now that we have our light nice and secured to the wall, let's go ahead and show you what it looks like. We'll go ahead and close up the rear door of our trailer so you can see what it looks like when it's dark inside. Now here's what our light looks like in the on position. Now there is, keep in mind there is another light in this trailer already. Go ahead and turn out the light. The trailer is dark inside. And you flip the light on, now we have light at both the rear of the trailer as well as the front where an existing light already was installed. And that'll do it for the installation of the Optronics LED domed utility light in a six inch round, part number IL24CB on our enclosed trailer.